Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first official video where I'll be teaching you how to paint a G Pro wireless for a customer that I'm painting. Um, he wants a full metallic purple color, just like the one I have here, like this one. But he wants to leave the Logitech logo unmasked and he wants to add his name in a pink font. So I'll be doing that um, and I'll be recording the process for you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, leave all the questions down below in the comment section. I'll make sure to answer all of the ones that I can. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.
So, um, let's put these back on here for one second so that I can power on the mouse and we can um, trace the Logitech logo from it, which we didn't do at the beginning because I recently painted mine and I didn't cover the logo on mine because I wanted it that way. But this customer actually wants to uh, retain the logo. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for one second. And there's your Logitech logo. So, to mask this off, you put the tape on top, make sure it's nice and tight, masking tape on top, you want to press on it, and this is where the hard part comes. You want to be, if you have never used an X-Acto knife, um, it's not a very easy process to do. So I suggest you practice cutting other things first. As far as this, it's a little bit harder than it seems. You just want to get those very, very crisp lines there. So that that Logitech logo looks as good as possible once you do paint on top of it. So, this part of the G is pretty much the easiest part to cut. I'd say the round side is pretty much the hardest. Hey, I'm busy right now. Okay. That's fine. I'll be over in a bit. Okay, and like so. So now, when you take off your masking tape, you should be left off with the Logitech logo. You should peel it off slowly. Very slowly. Okay, I am pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Um, I'm gonna cut a little excess on the bottom here. And then other than that, I think it looks great. If you look at it from here, it looks great. Okay, so. Turn off the mouse, don't need it on anymore. We can go ahead and proceed to, again, disassemble this. Take this off. And carefully take this off. The battery then again comes off. And then this, we can just Leave it in here for now. Cool. So, from here, um, I have these, which will hold the mouse while I'm painting on it. However, I still need to take out most of this factory finish. 
just to give my paint something to adhere to nicely. You want to make sure that the corners are well sanded. That's usually where the majority of the paint tends to, you know, either peel off over time and stuff like that. So if you're careful with the corners, you're pretty much going to have a very durable paint job, hopefully. Just a very light sanding, nothing crazy. Again, I'm using 600 grit. Okay. Now, I have something called a tack rag. This is practically going to remove all of those little pieces of sanding that you left in there, all those little pieces of plastic. Okay. This looks pretty good. So, I just want to give a smaller sand here, which is where the hands will go. I just want to make sure the paint really sticks on here, just where most of the fingers are going to rest. And then, same thing for the other side. Just want to make sure we're giving this paint something really good to adhere to. That's pretty much it. We have majority of the mouse sounded. Um, you can put your tack rag away. That does leave your fingers rather sticky, by the way. Um, so, okay. This is the mouse button that he wants to have his initial on. So. Not his initial, sorry, his gamer tag. So this one has to be sanded well because we're going to be applying a stencil to it, which I'll later on show you. Okay. So this is pretty much sanded down. And we need to do the same for this one. This one won't really have anything. So this one we don't need to, um, we don't need to worry about putting any stencil on it. No stencil is gonna go on this one. So I like to just cover the parts that have some, you know where the screws go. Cause I don't want any paint to get on any of that. Just so that it's easier for me when I need to put in screws or take out screws or whatnot. So, to there for now. Um, I'm gonna cover this part too. Just kind of where the button starts. Cool. I just don't believe that should have any paint on it. It's not necessary. These things are meant to hold stuff while you paint. So, put one of them like this. It's gonna hold it for now and do the same for the other one. So for this, I'm gonna tape it off. So now um, I am gonna just cover the rest of these things because I don't want any paint to get on them. Um, I'm gonna have to put these first, which are gonna hold my mouse up while I paint it. I'm gonna make sure I'm not grabbing that ribbon. So I'm going to put one here. Okay. 
of another one of this here, which I'm gonna put in the middle. And I'm gonna grab one more for the back. One more of this one, which I would like to put here, but that's where my tape is. So let me take this off for one second and then cover it again. There we go. So just going to cover this part right here also. So I didn't want any paint to get on there. and this. So, pretty much, this is what you're left with. Um, I'm gonna hit it one more time with the tack rag to make sure I get all of that out. And this is where it's going to go on to get painted. So just one last time. Going over this with the tack rag. Okay, and this is where I'm going to paint the mouse. I'm probably going to move this more towards the middle just so I don't want this tilting over outside. Not that it will, but I don't want to leave it to chance. So just somewhere in the middle would be fine. About so. And here, there you go. So, I'm gonna just cover this screw here. I just don't want any paint on that. Okay, so, once we're done with preps, I'm just showing you guys what this is gonna look like. This is pretty much ready for primer. Okay, so this is plastic primer from Montana, specifically made for plastic. It's very important that if you're playing plastic, you want to use plastic primer. So one very light coat first. pretty much it for now. You let it dry for 10 minutes and you hit it with another coat. You want to do the same thing for these. This is one. And then the other one, same thing. Very light. very light coats and you let it dry and what we want to do is we want to give it a very light coat okay this one's gonna be where we're gonna put the name on now that we have done one coat of paint on the mouse, this one is gonna go purple. So shake it up. Again, very light coat. This for you to have an idea of what it's gonna look like after one coat. Okay, so now we're gonna give a second coat to the actual mouse. Okay, 
Second code here. On the inside. Then I like to do a code in the bottom. Like so. And that's it for code two. This is what it looks like so far. It's getting more of a purple color now. Okay, so after I've let the mouse dry for about an hour, um, we're gonna remove the stencil on the G, which this you have to be very careful with. I lift it up just a bit from the surface, then I'm gonna grab it with this. and be very careful that is very nice so far now for the other side you also have to be very careful to make sure none of the other side of the paint wears off. And that came out beautiful. Looks great. So something that I like to do here um, is with a very fine 2000 grit. Um, I like to go ahead and lightly sand the surface here and what this does for those wondering um, it leaves it a much softer surface on your hand so that the G Pro logo doesn't feel so rough when you touch it. So I'm going to give it one coat of primer just because um, this paint has already dried so I just want to make sure the new paint that I'm going to put on top adheres to it. That's pretty much it. Just a very light coat. We're 
almost at the end. You take out the bottom of it and you insert it here. You flip the can and you smack it until you hear the pop. Now you shake it again. So we're going to do this first. Very light coat like this. We're going to do the same to the mouse. Very light coat. And then you just let it dry for 15 minutes and you come back and hit it with another coat. Okay, so here comes the best part, which is to put this back together. Logitech Deeper Wireless, the customer. Focus, focus, focus. Here's how the finished copy looks.